Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is show the um, product. Can you help me make sure it's... Okay, we got the product there. It's called Artie Mud from Red Horse, and it has a little protective duger there. And here is the putty. I guess I'll show that a little more clearly, which I have used before. And then here is the little crevice. This is from Riley's surgery. Let me know if you're getting it. Everything is real good. You don't okay. have, everything is okay, good. Good. <laughs> All right, so I just take the putty and smear it in there. And what I like about this, although I like Keratex, it's not very good at staying in unless you really have it warm and goopy. And it has a habit of um, coming out. And this stuff is pretty easy to get bedded in there, assuming you have a good... I'm using a stir stick. And you can get it pretty much into the crevice very nicely. It's kind of like a grout mixture. I'm not doing a very good job here. But, so you just do that. It's an antimicrobial, antifungal. It's going to dry and stay in there for a decent amount of time. Um, and you can put some powder on it if you want. And then the last thing I do, just because I don't know if it's really intended for the exterior of a hook. piece of towel that I have here and just kind of get rid of it on the rest of the hook so that it's really only on the part where I want it. And it, this will last a couple of days. It doesn't last forever, but it does keep things out and it keeps that area covered with the medicated area 